to take you inside the operating room to witness history in the making. A chain of complete strangers making incredible Really sickening. Mitzi Nayan, 77 years young, has been waiting one year for a kidney. I could have done dialysis for the rest of my life. I didn't want to do that. She and her husband have been married for 53 years. For most of it, her kidney disease was manageable. She was doing real fine up until about a year ago. And then all of a sudden, it started to really go downhill. So the University of Wisconsin Hospital enrolled her in the National Kidney Registry's Paired Exchange Program. It works like this. Say you need a kidney, but your friends and loved ones uh -huh. aren't good matches. One of them can agree to donate a kidney on your behalf to someone else who they do match with. Meanwhile, the computers are scanning for other potential matches around the country in a complicated daisy chain of potential donors and recipients. But if a donor backs out or a recipient gets sick, the entire chain will collapse like dominoes. At the end of this day, if all goes well, 34 kidneys will have been swapped between 26 different hospitals over the course of three months. Today, Mitzi hopes to be the final link in the chain. Her new kidney will be coming from Matt Crane, who lives outside of Philadelphia. This person's getting my kidney. If they all of a sudden have an affinity toward crystal light, this kidney's working great. He's donating on behalf of his wife, Michelle. If it took for me to give my kidney to somebody in order to get Michelle a, a good, healthy kidney, I'm ready to do that. The news that I was going to be able to be transplanted this month, I, I was flabbergasted. But in order for Michelle and Mitzi's transplant to happen, everything needs to go according to plan with the other five surgeries taking place today. So here's our flexible camera. First up, Baltimore, Maryland where Latwanya Gosley is donating a kidney on behalf of her brother Charles. My kidney is supposed to go to Pittsburgh, so I always joke that if it's a Steelers fan, they're going to wake up bleeding purple. <laughs> <laughs> Once the surgeons remove her kidney, it's driven 250 miles to Allegheny General Hospital in Pittsburgh. It's going to Gary Watson in exchange his daughter's friend, Christine Brock, is donating her kidney. Love you. Christine is wheeled off into the OR. And about three hours later, her kidney is ready to be sent on its way. We're going to Allegheny County Airport to Voyager Air. Package is secured. And from there, it will fly 368 miles on a private plane to New Jersey. Thank you so much. A courier picks it up. We're on our way to Cornell Hospital. The kidney is given to the person waiting for it in New York. Yeah. The donor kidney from New York will head to Philadelphia, where Michelle and Matt are heading to the hospital hey. right. of the University of Pennsylvania to get ready for their surgeries. No colds, fever. No. And Matt meets with his surgeons first. I'm not right. the one who needs to be ready to go. You need one. I'm glad that he's smiling and happy. Just uh, ready to you know, get in here and see Michelle with our new kidney. <laughs> And we need to make a hole big enough to get the kidney yep. out. While Matt's surgery is underway, Michelle learns her kidney is in transport. He spoke with the hospital in New York, and he t um, they said the kidney looked great. Matt's kidney is successfully taken out. It's a beautiful kidney. Surgery went well. The kidney is on its way to the airport. It will fly to Chicago's O'Hare Airport, and from there will be driven 133 miles to Madison, Wisconsin where Mitzi is waiting for it. So your kidney is en route. But with kidney transport, anything can happen. No one knows that better than the man behind today's big chain, Garrett Hill. When you're organizing a swap, you need to have a lot of different information at hand immediately. He's also got a kidney story of his own. His daughter, Samantha, needed one when she was 10. Both my wife and I were incompatible with our daughter. It was a devastating blow. 
uh, to both of us. When you see your child on dialysis and you're helpless, you can't give her your kidney, it creates a level of frustration that's hard to imagine. Frustration that drove him to create the National Kidney Registry's Paired Exchange Program. How steep was the learning curve for you? Immense. I learned everything I could about kidney transplant and paired exchange. The very foundation of his model was built on altruism. It all starts with one generous person with no vested interest. That level of, of, of generosity is hard to describe with words. And we've had 250 Good Samaritan donors come through the National Kidney Registry and start chains and have gotten over 1,300 people transplanted. Kathy Hart is the Good Samaritan at the start of what could be this record-breaking chain. Helping a neighbor cut their grass, that's one thing. But donating a kidney to a stranger? I think the fact that it was to a stranger is one of the parts that people have a really hard time grasping. It actually even makes it easier. From the very beginning, I didn't have any judgment attached to who gets it or who's deserving. And I have an opportunity to give, and why wouldn't I? It's amazing to think how many people are you know, benefiting from that, that one person's um, donation. Back in Philadelphia, Michelle gets her new kidney. Most exciting part of the whole thing. We are open now. Look at the color. And it said there's something. You see it? This is beautiful, really nice. Just out of surgery himself, Matt is overcome when he learns his wife Michelle's surgery was a success. I got everything I wanted today. Best gift you could have gotten. He's got a message from Mitzi in Wisconsin, who's waiting for his kidney. Uh, hang in there, Mitzi. I'm hoping you, 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 you're, you're, you're feeling as, as blessed as I do right now. I'm doing pretty well. So I did receive an update that the kidney was picked up by our on-ground transport person. So right on time. My name's Jackie. I'm going to be your OR nurse. Meanwhile, Mitzi gets prepped for surgery. Get emotional all thinking about this journey that you've been on? As of yesterday, it really sunk in that I was getting this kidney. I honestly, in my heart of hearts, didn't think I'd ever qualify. Love you. Her new kidney arrives. It's 618. The kidney's ready. She's ready. It's game time. Skin incision. Mitzi's husband waits anxiously. About an hour in, he gets okay. an update. I just wanted to call and let you know that the kidney is in. Oh my gosh. The kidney is in. That is amazing. Kidney's immediately turned pink. Looks good. All finished? All finished. Everything went very well. Good. I'm so happy yes. to hear that. No surprises. Kidney's mm -hmm. getting good blood flow. So she's going to outlive me. <laughs> <laughs> 68 lives have been changed in what the surgeons have called a chain of love. Now the longest multi-hospital kidney chain in U.S. history. It is a huge operation but it's driven by the hearts and minds of people, people that want to do it. If there was no love in this, it wouldn't happen. For Nightline, I'm Byron Pitts in Madison, Wisconsin.